I wanted to ask you guys, you know, since this team has been stacking up some wins, especially mm-hmm. against some impressive teams, uh, what would the Knicks uh, need to do, not in regards to acquiring talent, but mm-hmm. what would they need to show you on the court? How many more wins would they have to get until you started to believe that this team is a dark horse for the conference finals? I'll hang up and listen. Uh, th- thanks for the call, man. Um much better result from you tonight as well. Dan, Dan went very rapid fire tonight. Good job by him. Very succinct. Um, the, the wins that will determine whether or not they go to the conference finals will happen in the playoffs. I, I don't think it's it's the right way to look at what a team's future outlook is is by going by the regular season. It's two different seasons. It's two different seasons. You, you want to see them get there healthy first and foremost because we saw what happened last year with Julius – that's not mm-hmm. that that won't be a good thing. So first and foremost, get through the, the schedule, get through it healthy, and then see where you're looking at in the first round. Can't 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 skip steps. And when we look at the standings right now, just last night, you had four through eight were all in a virtual tie. This was a dead heat right here. And so yeah. Miami. Pacers, Cleveland, Magic. These were the teams when I was on whatever show, I forgot what show I was on, they were asking me the same thing. Miami, Pacers, Cleveland, Magic. Look at those teams and those games that the Knicks are going to be playing against those teams as playoff series in their own right because the tiebreakers are going to factor into this thing. The Halliburton injury, that set the Pacers back. He's only going to be out for a week. Let's see how the Knicks can capitalize on that. They won one game against Miami. They have a couple more to go. They lost one to the Pacers. They'll have more to go. They beat. Uh, they, they lost one, one, one against Cleveland. One more to go. And they lost one to Orlando. So these, when you see these teams on the schedule, just know those are going to be very, very important games. Very important games. I... For the most part, yes. I agree that you can't really determine how far a team can go throughout the regular season, but there are indications if they are ready to compete for, you know, for championship content, if they're a championship contention type team. I mean, when you watch Boston, when they're healthy, obviously in the the quote for every, every team is if they are healthy, right? If they are healthy, Boston Celtics, you look at that team, that is a championship contending team, right? Yeah. But as we saw last season, there are just some teams that, what you see during the regular season in the playoffs. I mean, that's like the Los Angeles Lakers. You look at the Miami Heat. Those two teams just show that play in, we can just flip the script and be a better team in the playoffs. So I agree with you to some extent. But the other thing I'll say is that if you see a team like the Celtics that's just able to dominate and just show that they got a good win record at home, when I see that they can also compete like – in tough games, like down the stretch, like how you win those games during the regular season is essentially ma- ma- making up for saying, hey, we have learned enough, know how to execute close competition, different type of play styles. I need to see that too. I mean, for last season for the Knicks, they won 47 games, but you saw you saw against tough competition that there was going to be an end point, right? The only thing I would say is that we went three and one against the Cavs. Very confident that we could take them down to the playoffs, and we did. Yeah. Uh, went three and one against the Celtics. I think the Knicks against the Celtics last season, that could have been in their favor. Obviously, they need to play it out, but to me, there was a strong chance. Miami, different story. Team got hot. But I think for the most part, you can tell where, how far a team's going. I don't think the Knicks are championship contenders, but. You know, if they can continue to show that they can execute in late game stretch, if they add some more players on the bench that can help them, especially a third player they can rely on scoring, they get closer to that. They get closer to that marking, but as of right now, it's not there. Yeah, but just just me, I gotta wait and see when the game's actually played. There's way too many question marks on this team right now between the bench. So what Julius is going to do in a big spot, those 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 are still going to be unanswered, and I don't think the regular season is going to show me that. And plus, like so, we've seen so many things last year. I mean, the Kings last year, what were they second seed in the in the West? And Golden State sat, sat them down early. Uh, who saw the Lakers being able to rise up from the ashes? Who saw the Miami Heat? But you had two playing teams last year rise up from the ashes and knocking teams off one by one. I just think playoffs is just a completely different thing. You got to see who's going to be healthy. 
who's hot, who's playing well, who's coming together. There's so many factors, man. Regular season is, is, just, is just different. Um, but again, looking at where the Knicks are right now, four seed in the East and being able to tread that water, that's a good sign. Definitely a good sign, this, despite how the season started. Tough schedule in, in December. You lost RJ and Quick, and they're still clicking. They're Teflon right now. So that's a good sign. Taking For care sure. of business. And, you know, uh, and to my point, you could also flip it, right? You could say, hey, the Knicks, even though they had a tough start to the season, they're competing right now. They could get hot, and they could make that type of noise. Like, yeah. absolutely. They could be last year's Lakers or last year's Miami as well. So I hear you that you got to wait until the playoffs. But I feel like there are, in some in some instances, indications on how far a team will go. Like, I, I don't really have much – like I think the Bucks could make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but when you just see their defense and how they even lose to a team like the Pacers, I mean, at some point, if you see it enough, it has to be, it has to be enough data to say that's an issue for this team where they can't play good enough defense. That if come playoff time, how much can they turn it up and actually go the distance? I just don't believe something like that. 